few minutes earlier than I said um, and than usual. So this week we're going to talk about, um, you know, the power of words and, uh, you know, what we're listening to, what we're, um, what we're watching and, and also what we're saying, like what we speak and what we, you know, what then we hear because we're hearing ourselves as well, but also what we say up here um, to ourselves. It's important that we get more aware, awareness around that. And the reason is, you know, words, as I said, are very powerful and they can lift you up and bring you down and take you through a whole spectrum of emotions and all sometimes within a few minutes. Um, and they can all, they, they also drive that negative thinking um, that we can have that's going on up here, especially because if we're listening or watching or speaking too much in the negative, um, if we're consuming too much negativity, um, then, you know, it's going to dictate how we think, how we feel, how we behave, what's going on physiologically in our bodies, but also how we react on a daily basis. And it'll shift us then into what we call the negative bias. So it, we end up when we're in that space, we end up then only picking up on more negativity. Um, we'll only focus on, I'm only here, um, negative in everything we see and hear around us. Um, and then that'll reinforce this in our brain uh, more and more. So it's really important that we start to become more discerning about about um you know what we're consuming but also what we're saying to ourselves and about ourselves or about other people um and you know this reinforcement happens because when we when we do something or we're saying something um the brain lays down pathways the neurons fire together and you know neurons that activate together along a pathway um, they fire together, they stay together. So over time, it's a bit like um, if you've ever seen fields and you'll see pathways through the field because over time people use that as a walkway and they've worn down a pathway. And it's a bit like that in the brain. You wear down constantly by constant reinforcement. You're wearing down that um, same pathway in the brain. So repeating negative thoughts um, listening to negative content, watching negative content, um, you know, the comments in your own head, the comments other people are saying, what you're even saying. If it's very negative, if it's more skewed towards the negative, um, and, you know, we can pick on the usual, the news cycle, we can pick on social media, we can pick on the media in general, um, but although there's people in our lives too that may be negative, they're going to start reinforcing that in our brain all that in our brain and the same negative thoughts and patterns we're going to take them on and wear down that pathway and that's where the negative bias comes in into it um and unfortunately it gets us to to um only notice or primarily notice the negativity around us and within us um and we you know we've wired our own brain that way then but there are things we can do about that um if we want to shift it, shift it up. Um, and as I said, you know, this negative bias then drives your, your life, basically. It drives all your thoughts, all your behaviours, your emotions, your physiological responses. You'll take more external negativity in. And we can be particularly prone to it when we're very stressed, we're overwhelmed, or anxious, we're depressed, etc. Um, it can be a little bit easier to navigate that, navigate the social media, navigate, um, you know, the media, navigate negative people, n you know, and na navigate your own thoughts in your own head when you're feeling a bit more upbeat. But it's it's it is hard to constantly do that, particularly if you're you're bombarded all the time with um, a lot of negative content. Um, I have I've gone in I've gone in in a bit more detail. And I don't dwell too much on this negative bias um, today, because I want to give you a simple technique that you can use. Um, but you know, check out the blog because I do go into it the effects that it can have a bit more detailed in the blog. So do check that out. There is a link to that in the description below. So you know, you you could say and I and I could say to you and I've said it before. 
you know, cut back on social media, cut back on the, turn off the notifications on your devices. Um, you can do all that. Cut back on the amount of television you're watching, things like that. And go and do something else, physically interact with people. Get out in nature, do the walks. I can talk about all that. And you're going to turn around to me, yeah, 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 I should do that. Yeah, And in your own head, you're going to go, yeah, I really should be doing that. You know, it makes more sense. It's a bit more logical. But that's hard because we get into a habit of doing them. They're there. They can get a bit ingrained. It's very hard to shift out of those habits sometimes. So sometimes I would say to people, you know, let's try to introduce something a little bit more positive a positive habit a small positive habit a small positive change now you can introduce gratitude at the end of a journal do a brain dump every night it's a great way of helping get all that stuff that you've taken on board all day you know into your life and dump that out that's a that's a simple technique you can use just get in the habit of writing it down and then write down three things you're grateful for very good for helping to rewrite the brain um affirmations are another way of doing it you know having an affirmation that you say um in the morning and maybe again at night is also another way to help you rewrite your brain um there is another way to do it um and it does involve using a journal and it generally um helps to um rewire and reframe our brain and that's to use what i call magic moments it's a very simple technique um that you can do what you're doing is you're looking for a positive moment in every day one positive moment so you're basically writing a sentence in a journal every night very simple and you might say that's too simple but it's a small step it's a very very basic step and sometimes you know we can trick the brain with very baby steps really tiny baby steps um to to switch to so switch tracks um and generally what i say to people try and attach it to a word so initially you might say okay i have to come up with some words but you don't have to you just something simple i'll give you an example in a minute if you can find a word though and attach it to it you're linking you're linking it um in your brain you're linking it to words that you already know in your brain um, and it can help, as I said, rewire the brain towards, you know, not so much the negative bias, but switching track, laying down a new pathway in the brain. Um, so finding some words that have positive connotations for you um, that can help you see that there are positives in your life. Uh, because we do tend to ignore positive moments, particularly when we're in, as I said, when we're in, in negative bias, we tend to only see or, you know, only observe or, uh, you know attract the negative we that's what we seem to do um but the positives are happening they're happening all around you they're happening to you but we don't see them we just don't see them um so what we're trying to do here is a simple technique to actually get the brain to start noticing more and more of these positive moments and it is only a moment um each day and when we start to see more you know when we start to see them or we start to tell the brain look for these the brain has a happy habit of going off and actually looking for what we tell it to look for so it will see more of these positive moments in your brain in your day and therefore rewire the brain and lay down a new pathway just as it did with the negative thinking just as it did with the with all that negative content you've been you know you've been consuming it will reinforce a new pathway that will show you that you already do have some positives in your life um so it's it's it needs to be done on a consistent daily basis that's the only thing i would say to you but it should literally only take you a couple of minutes if you have a simple small journal by the bed you know it doesn't have to be a big journal um this is kind of a five size but even the smaller little kind of a6 you get them in the supermarket keep it by the bed in the drawer a pen attach a pen to it and all you're doing is writing down a sentence one sentence every night but it's the consistency by which you tell brain this is important to me go find me more of these and that's what you're doing here now how do you do it um there's a couple of techniques a couple of options you have if you're going to choose words what i would do is um there's there's two ways of doing it you can pick 31 words 
positive words. Um, I'll give you examples in a moment. Um, and a lot, one word for each day of the month. And you can just keep repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, you can also do, um, you can pick 52 words. And that does you for the entire year because it's one word per week. So you either have 31 words, one a month, one per day for the month or 52 words. And that's for the entire um, year. And what you do simply is if, you know, you're, you're the first of every month, your word could be happiness. Um, the second of the month, every, you know, every month it's gratitude. The third is love and so on and so on. You can do the same thing if you were doing it on a weekly basis. So your word could be happiness for the first week of the year. It could be gratitude for the second week of the year and it could be love for the third week of the year and so on and so on. Um, it, as I said, it does take an initial um, little, you know, could take you, um, you know, a few minutes on Google, do a Google search, 52 words, positive words, put in the positive, the words positive and find ones that resonate with you. You can look up um, similar words as well, just in case to, to see how, you know, they work for you. Do they resonate more with you? So, you know, spending a little time doing it initially, that's OK. Um, so get your journal out. And as I said, at the end of the night, you make a note of them. You write one sentence. So your your word for the day or the word for that week could be love. That could simply be a hug from one of your kids. Hug from one of the kids. So the word love equals hug from one of the kids. Um, just as you were feeling overwhelmed. So you just write that. It's this one sentence, a hug from one of my kids. I was feeling overwhelmed. And you just write it down. Um, so, you know, the whole idea there is your brain is getting the idea that this is important. You're making a note of it. It's telling, you're telling your brain that you're, 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 you want more of this. Happiness could be one of the kids told you a silly joke and you smiled or you laughed at it. And that's happiness. Um, gratitude. Somebody let you out, you know, busy traffic and you're in a hurry and somebody just let you out at the junction. You're grateful for that. That's gratitude. That's one simple sentence. Peaceful. If another word could be peaceful, you know, you've got a few minutes, you've got a cup of tea by yourself I, as a parent and as a grandparent. I know exactly what it's like to, you know, want just give me five minutes. So that's peaceful to be able to take a few sips of tea while it's still hot or a cup of coffee while it's still drinkable and it's not gone stone cold because you're not running around. You got a few minutes peace. That's invaluable. But you're telling your brain, show me more of these moments. Um, with the 52 words, so it's one word per week. What I, what you're doing there is you set your word for the week and you look for seven. Um, you actually look for seven moments during the week. So it's one per day. So if your word was love, again, you'd go looking for moments of love for that day simple very simple as i said it could be a hug um you know somebody put their arm around you somebody told you they loved you it could be something simple but again it's wiring the brain and that's what you're doing um and as i said it's all too easy to dismiss this as a technique for helping you because um you know it's it's so simple people think that's that, that wouldn't work but just like gratitude and just writing down three things you're grateful for every night, it does actually work. Um, it helps, as I said, to feed and rewire the brain and lay down new pathways and tells the brain, this is important for me. Please see more of this. I want to see more of this. So you're shifting your brain out of the negative bias and it's very quick to work. Um, you know, we know with gratitude, um, anything to do with gratitude um, can work within about eight weeks. And it is a very powerful technique that is used for to lift people up, even a small bit. But when it does lift somebody up and if they continue to do it on a, um, you know, a daily basis, to consistently do it, it keeps them up and it keeps them feeling, you know, um, happier for longer, it keeps that mood lifted for longer. Um, you know, negative thinking is a habit so you can talk yourself into things or out of things so in a negative way you can use this to help you
become more discerning about what you're watching and consuming in general but it can also start you know it, it's so small that when you're starting with this you'll then realize over a number of weeks that you're becoming more what am i listening to that for and you'll turn it off or you know what i don't really need to answer all those now right now i don't have to look at whatever the news feed or whatever the feed is i don't have to do it then you can become better at making the choice then after you start to make this small change you can make an even smaller change just even you know having set time on your phone to you know to watch uh, social media um, you become more discerning about what you want to listen to or watch or who you want to watch or listen to um in the end so have a go have a try of it you know you're just looking for one moment positive moment in the day i call them magic moments um, because they do help shift shift our thinking um, have a go and um, that's it for this week um, I will be on again next week if uh, as always if you have any questions um, if you want any help with the words uh, coming up with words I have loads of them uh, I have lists but I know you can google um, positive words and they, they do come up so get ones that resonate with you um, I have uh, lists of them um, if anybody um, wants, wants, wants some for themselves um, and you're having trouble or struggling to find something for yourself let me know I'll be happy to send, I'll ha happy to, to give you a link um, and as always I'll answer any questions I've no problem answering questions even from old videos that I've done I'm happy to do that and I will talk to you all next week stay safe and I'll see you soon